All right, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to cover another demo that I picked up at KamiK92. It is called Link, the Unleashed Nexus by the developer called Reminis. Uh, I played it a little bit uh, before recording this uh, gameplay, but uh, basically it's a fairly short demo. It should take about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how agile you are, I suppose. Um, so let's start and take a look at it. Now what's interesting about this too is that it seems to go back and forth between some English guidance in let's say the configuration menu uh, along with quit this configuration right now uh, with Japanese as you go along. Uh, this is basically uh, a 3D platformer um, and we're going to start basically from the beginning. So, all right, let's take a look. As you can see, you can move the camera around. All right, got to move forward. And the first stage here is fairly short, uh, basically giving you instructions on how to play some of the very basics. So, of course, we got jump. And then the next instruction here is if you don't know where to go, because it can kind of get hard, uh, you can press the LT button and it will show you, give you some guidance. Having played this for a little bit prior to the recording this here, uh, the game itself is pretty interesting, except that there are some areas that could use uh, refinement. Of course, this is a demo, so that's to be expected. Um, in particular, there's some issues uh, with frame rates, uh, as well as some issues with kind of the character assets. They get locked sometimes in certain positions, so it's kind of weird. Anyway, uh, all right, let's continue on. So, uh, in this case, what we're looking at is attacking, and we can do so in the air. Uh, one of the problems I've seen with attacking is that you're not able to actually lock onto the enemies. So it becomes kind of difficult to really uh, hit them sometimes. In other words, you have to kind of have pinpoint accuracy, which can be a challenge when you're getting attacked in later stages. All right, and we move along. Now what's interesting about this is, um, so I don't have my memory, I'm trying to find that. Um, as with most demos, there really isn't much of a story, so to speak. All right, uh, next uh, major ability, hold down R2 or Shift key, and I've now got a thruster. Love to learn how I got this ability. But that is something for another day. And the other ability. So in addition to being able to attack enemies, we saw before, can now kind of leap off them. Come on. There we go. Controller's kind of acting up here. Jump, yeah, see, there you go. Jump. All right, at this point, I can't actually move the camera. Uh, I'll jump off you. Okay. Let's see, boom. And we're going up. And I can use the camera again. My objective is the sky. I'm going up. As we ride the elevator. Oh, 
silly boss. Come on. Let me get you. There we go. Not like that. Ooh. God damn, too slow. Oh yeah, I just sort of realized this. Um, <laughs> I'm not actually taking damage. It's not actually until the third stage that you uh, are introduced to your health bar, which you can see here at the bottom left that says Recollector. So I could probably just sit here all day and let him hit me with his lasers. All right, we're done. Yay, my leash was broken. On to the next stage. Clear time. Nothing. UR riser activation. Nothing. First stage, introduction. There are two more stages left. So we'll start getting a couple more abilities as we progress. Um, and it will slowly get a little bit harder. Basically, each stage seems to be like uh, most of these 3D kind of action games. You gain an ability, and then you need that ability in order to actually complete the stage. Now I'd like to complete moving on so I can get to the next stage. Come on. There we go. Okay. The Hollow Library, Stage 2. So, here we'll be introduced to a couple things. Here are save points. So, if you die, here you can die. Basically, that means if you fall into, an, into the water or an infinite pit or something like that, uh, you start back at that checkpoint. And we'll be introduced to another ability, the Riser. Which actually, because I've played it before, I've actually picked up. Uh, as you can see here, the bar going up. Basically, you would pick it up over here at the bottom of the ground, down there. Um, yeah. Let's see. There is an ability I picked up from the third stage. Yep, there it is. <laughs> that I can use now. Seems a little cheaty, I guess. Alright, anyway. Continuing along into the library. Yep. All right, in this room, normally, you are introduced to uh, the ability of wall jump. So these guys, you pick up this ability, the wall jump, and then these guys would actually appear. And then we kill them to move forward. said kill them. There you go. Alright, wall jump. Boom. about it being kind of difficult to sort of lock on and hit enemies. There we go. And that's what this is telling me right here. The urgent riser pressing RB. Right, 
kill them off. Time to move along. And here's what I was talking about. Don't touch the water. Well, see, just like that. Don't touch the water. It's one of the issues I sort of have with the game. Um, meaning that it's kind of difficult, given how it moves, it's kind of difficult to see where exactly you're landing. The camera angle, in other words, is a bit too close. Uh, it would be nice, actually, if you were able to, you know, choose how far away the angle was from your character. Ooh, I almost bit it there. There we go. What is this? Let's knock it down. Hey, I said knock it down. Damn. And we start back out at the beginning of the water. Alright, I gotta stop goofing around. Ah, uh, there we go. See? That's what I was talking about earlier, where you kind of get stuck. There we go. Ooh, good. It came out. Oh, maybe not. Boom, boom. Look at that. All right. The other thing, too, is you can hit these green walls that'll push you across the screen. All right. Save point. Now, the objective here is to go to those glowing blue circles which will then cause the stage to change and I need to go as you can see up now what's interesting also about this uh, as I found out in the third stage is you don't necessarily have to go the way that you're being suggested. I mean, there are multiple ways to the same objective. Ooh. There we go, that was a little wrong button pressing there. where I went there for a second. Oof. Bad camera angle. Bad camera angle. Oh, save point. Checkpoint. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> Waiting to recharge. Ooh, look at that. There we go. I think we're at the end. Yeah. And we attack it. 
There we go. Stage two complete. Yay. Unbound. Go towards the sky. All right. Let's see. User rank. Agent rank C. Now, I don't really know if that's good or not or how it's determined. Um, basically... Well, I mean, for C, if this was in the States, that would be completely average. However, in Japan, the grading system goes S, A, B, C, D. Which would mean that I'm pretty much sucking here. But I lived. So, whatever. Alright, final stage, Silent Ocean. Let's see what we got here. So, here is the third and final stage of the demo. Uh, you pick up a final ability here, uh, which is that. Um, and enemies start to attack you. Now, how you get graded, I honestly don't know. Um, it looks like it's a combination of time and how much you use that riser ability. But, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't see any other reason why they would count the riser ability unless it was meant to be some sort of grading. Ooh, where am I going? There we go. Whew. I almost tried to fly all the way over there. That wouldn't have been good. Wouldn't have made it. See, I just like using the riser. So much easier. Hey, where'd you go? Come here, you. Jerk. That's right, I'm talking to you. Go, checkpoint. Whoa. Drop me off almost in the middle of the ocean. What's that about? Hmm. Oh, here we go. Enemy attacks. Ah, oh, damn it. Missed him. Luckily, there's a checkpoint nearby. I can keep trying and trying. Jerk, just hanging out right there. This is where you pick up the running ability that I was talking about there. Can't see me. Where am I? I'm so fast. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And there we go. That's where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, you know, the save point. And this is where we get to use it. Enemies attack. You can kind of just zip past them. Well, hopefully. Ooh, he's still shooting at me. Stop shooting! Ouch, that hurt. Don't you shoot me. I don't like being shot at. Alright. And of course now, oh, some furniture left. Which is very strange. I apparently am either a really tiny guy or populate 
did. Let's see, the world is populated by giants. Don't get that. Oh, I want to see my face here. Just to see how tiny I am. Nope. Won't let me. <sighs> okay. Boom. Hmm. Now, here is something that I don't really know what it's for. Well, if I could actually get there, damn it. Again, camera angle needs to be just a bit outside. Okay. Item. Memory. Alright. Remember saying there was different ways to get to pads? Well, that's basically it. This way makes it much easier from what I found in the past. There was kind of an issue here, and I'm not sure if it's just my general suckitude or if it's uh, a camera angle or mechanics kind of thing, but it looks like what you're supposed to do is bounce from those pillars back and forth in order to get to the far uh, flat area in the distance. You can see the green thing in there that's the end of the stage. Uh, but it was much easier to kind of go this way. Oh, look at that. And then I just sucked at it. Aren't I embarrassed? Yeah, not really. Okay, that's what I was talking about. You hit the wall, but it looks as almost like... You continue to move forward instead of moving straight up. There we go. Nope. Just sucking here. Now you can see sort of the pixelation trying to come back. Right, let's go this way again. Damn, I wasn't fully charged with my riser. Fine, I'll just hang out. <laughs> there we go. to make it this time. See, there we go. That's what I was talking about. For some reason, it's like it won't let me grab that, each green thing. green thing. Okay, see, let me, well, let me grab it. And here, as I've spent more on this section of the stage, then, well, screw you, didn't work, uh, then I've spent in the whole stage. about before. 
my timing was just off. Really bad. Well, let's see. Am I going to get a C or a D? Doesn't matter. Um, done. Yay. Unbound. Go towards the sky. Eight minutes. Riser activation 15. C. I don't see how I could have done much freaking worse, but... Okay. Anyway. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, again, this is kind of gameplay of Link the Unleashed Nexus by Reminis. Uh, it's a game that I picked up at Kami K92 demo version. Uh, I'm interested to see what it will look like in the future. I think there's some interesting mechanics here, but as you can see, um, generally I suck at these types of platformers. Um, and I would like to have a larger camera angle here, maybe just to help me position myself some more. Anyway, uh, you have any comments, feedback, whatever, please put them below. 